If you have skeletons in your closet and you don't want to end up in a prison, just become a South African president because South African presidents are above the law. This comes after NPA released a statement that it won't prosecute Mr. President Cyril Ramaphosa regarding the Pala Pala farm gate story. Dumela Kazi, welcome back to the cafe. If you are new here, welcome. And if you are returning, Sabi, thank you so much for gracing us with your presence. Well, if you are new, please make sure you don't leave without subscribing and make sure that you share your own views and thoughts down my comment sections and like this video if you enjoyed it without wasting any more time let's get into this video So I think each and every one of us knows what happened with the Palapala story just to make you aware or just to make sure that you are into speed with this whole thing. Cyril Ramaphosa's Falafala farm gate was broken into. That's what he, that's what he says, obviously, was broken into. And obviously that was never reported until it came to light on our media platforms that there was something like this that happened and in the couch they um the people who broken into the farm stole a hefty amount or an amount that was never disclosed um in a form of dollars which is a u.s currency and um we had a lot of questions that we were asking ourselves and we're asking obviously each and every parties as well that was involved in the whole thing they were asking questions if the money was declared what was the money for what was the money doing in the couch in the first place if it was declared um, with our SARS in South Africa. So um, that's what we thought that this will be tested legally. But unfortunately, it looks like it won't be tested anytime soon because NPA released this statement that I'm going to quickly run through through with you guys. The Director of Public Prosecution, um, in short DPP, in Limpopo Advocate Makali IV Tenga has taken a decision not to prosecute anyone in relation to the Palapala case. This decision follows a comprehensive investigation process that was conducted by the Directorate for Priority Crimes Investigation, in short DPCI, following a complaint laid by Mr. Arthur Fraser with the South African Police Service. The criminal complaint was registered against the President of the Republic of South Africa, Mr. Mr. Matamela Sira Ramaphosa. The complaint requested the SAPS to investigate the conduct of the President and that of a Major General Willie Road, alleging that it amounted to the commission of money laundering and corruption. The investigation also covered any possible contravention of the Income Tax Act 58 of 1962. 1962. And at that time, money laundering, that was during apartheid. So that means the government of South Africa was money was, was, was doing money laundering while you guys were sleeping and fighting for freedom and all of those things. One thing that you need to understand that was happening even if you don't like it, that was happening. There was a lot of things that were smuggled in and out of the country during that time. So this is the law that was... Um that was passed during that time and obviously that's what they're using and um, this was never tested in court that was this was never tested so obviously we just going to say okay cool let's read further um and exchange control regulation 1962 this was subsequent to the to the break to the break in and theft of an undisclosed amount of US dollars at Palapala Farm Gate, Bela Bela in Limpopo. The decision not to prosecute was taken by the by the DPP after a careful assessment of all available evidence presented to the prosecutors by the DPCI. She concluded that there is no reasonable there is no reasonable my god, there is no reasonable prospect 
prospect of a successful prosecution based on evidence contained in the docket. Why was this not tested so that we can hear the side of the actual um the other side than the side of the president because right now this npa statement sounds like it was designed and made by people that are working with president cyril ramaphosa or even <laughs> typed by him man was a lawyer or something um or he has a law degree the dpp made her decision in line with the prosecution policy of the NPA, which, st remember the NPA, just remember the NPA is the same NPA that's, that is rotten to, to, to the core, which states that a prosecutor in deciding whether to, institu to institute criminal proceedings against an accused person must assess whether there is a sufficient and admissible evidence to provide a reasonable prospect of a successful um, prosecution. Various factors must be considered when a prosecutor evaluates evidence, notably, number one, the strength of the case for the state, number two, the availability of evidence, number three, whether the state witness are likely to be credible. How do you know? if the state the, the 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 witness is credible or not if you are not testing that in front of in in, in a full view of if every single person any in a full view of a legal practitioner whatever the case may be but anyway wh where was i okay um number three okay number four the admissibly of number four is the admissibly the admissibility of evidence number five the reliability of evidence and um number six the strength of the case for the defense yeah that's that's what i said to you if you want to actually get away with whatever you're doing illegally behind closed doors just become the president of south africa the same thing that happened with mr president zuma it is happening again with the with miss president uh, mr president cupcake at this point of time and there's a lot of things that we will witness after he steps down as president or after he finished his um, term as a president we will hear more stories the same way that we were we are hearing more stories with president jacob zuma will he be able or will he go to um to stand in trial or stand somewhere to answer, I don't think that we will see it anytime soon. Because when he's finished with his presidency, he will say he's sick, he will be sick and he would be booked off and this and this and that. That's the same trend that we see in South Africa and we will see it for the coming years if things are not changing and we are still having E, um, ANC with, amongst all the parties. I would like to see ANC finished. Like, I don't want to hear anything that has to do with ANC one day. One day, I would like to wake up and we don't have ANC. I don't care what parties people vote for, but the ANC guys, I'm not going to tell you not to vote for it because it is your right to vote for whatever party you like, but we oh, are the ANC guys. Iang Stresa. Iang Stresa. Like, that party stresses me. Sir Ramaphosa is stressing me as well and obviously he is so powerful as a president because he can use each and every resources in the government institutes any government institute he can use those resources to make sure that he cleans up his behind anyway please let me know what you think about this whole thing do you think this is fair because obviously if you if you are tabo in the corner somewhere owning a house there and then you are found with a couple of thousands or millions in your couch um in the form of a foreign currency you might be behind bars as we speak it was it's it's it was not going to be a question you were going to be arrested people are arrested for 25000 rands having 25000 rands that was never declared um they get arrested rands in rands they get arrested but the undisclosed amount of money that was in that couch in a form of a foreign currency does it means that there was no there is no evidence of any 
anything so the money was clean what what <laughs> anyway thank you so much for watching till this far and also i had um there was one cousin over here who said that they don't receive the notifications my notifications for new videos i have noticed that and i have noticed for the longest time that the creators especially in the african continent creators are having problems with that um that youtube doesn't send notifications but i need to ask you one thing to check on your phone settings on your app settings to check if you've got your notifications on over there because sometimes you might have um you might click the notification bell on youtube but on your phone if your phone on your setting says no notifications from this actual app then you won't find you won't get notifications from youtube even if you don't um even if you you have your notifications on on youtube until you go and search and sometimes you might struggle to search a certain creator because i don't know what they're doing maybe they are shadow banning us um especially us who are doing current affairs um politics and all of those things um youtube just i don't know what they are doing but anyway thank you so much have a fantastic one please comment down below with your own thoughts like this video if you enjoyed it i'll see you on my next upload peace out